Ah, Dune, a place where spice is life and Kyle Brandt is apparently a sorcerer of trends. Who knew that a quarterback could summon the mood of intergalactic deserts just by throwing a football? It's a wonder of the universe that despite all the supernovas and black holes, Kyle managed to find such a rare phenomenon to dedicate his sports commentary to. Seriously, he's like the Jim Carrey of sports radio, pricelessly entertaining and slightly bizarre. Imagine Caleb Williams suited up as Paul Atreides, but instead of fighting for spice, he's just trying to score touchdowns. I can see it now. Defenders coming at him like sandworms in slow motion. Dune mode? I mean, who needs traditional athleticism when you can channel the power of the Kwisatz Haderach on the football field? Forget about being the next Tom Brady. Let's just elevate this to a galactic level. Kyle Brandt must have hit his head on a desert rock to come up with this one. Dune mode. What's next? Players getting their powers from the rings of Saturn? I can already imagine Caleb's post-game interview. Yeah, I was channeling my inner spice merchant today on that final drive. Before long, we'll have NFL teams drafting players based on whether they can make it through a wormhole or not. And let's not forget Brant's delivery. He's out here with more passion than a sci-fi geek at a comic book convention. The guy's acting like he just discovered the secret to the universe. You wonder if he's gonna come out clutch with a lightsaber next time? I wouldn't put it past him. Forget football, folks. We're entering a new galaxy of sports commentary. Kyle might just be the first sports announcer to turn an INT into an interdimensional travel suggestion. How many times do we have to remind Brandt that the real world isn't quite as dramatic as a Frank Herbert novel? Or is it? Maybe that's why he's such a hit, because in the realm of sports commentary, you need to spice things up. What better way to connect with fans than by giving them a visual of sandworms instead of just basic offensive formations? Was that a slant route or a dune-inspired maneuver? Ah, the beauty of ambiguity. Let's not also forget the impact on the athletes. Can you imagine Caleb Williams showing up to practice decked out in full sci-fi regalia? I can see it now. A helmet that looks like the one from a dystopian future, shoulder pads looking like they just crashed from Mars. Coaches would surely be like, focus boys, this is the NFL, not a Star Wars convention. Because why tackle when you can intergalactically evade? So here's the burning question. Are we ready to embrace this new ridiculous trend in sports culture? Can we really take Caleb seriously as he dashes down the field, dodging imaginary spices and followers of Dune? Will we end up seeing NFL team identities based on interstellar themes? Buckle up folks, because if this keeps going, you might just find yourself rooting for the Mewtwo masters or the galactic gassers in no time. Like and subscribe, please.